Hello guys, welcome back to JS Graphics. Hope you guys are doing great. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to use Photopea, how to mock up logos, how to edit PSD files or any other file format. And I will also show you guys some of the basics and useful tools in Photopea. All this you can do on your Android phone or on your PC. Same procedures goes for your Android and your PC. So what is Photopea? Photopea is a mobile application and also a web application. So you can run Photopea for free using your browser or using the application. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we will be making use of the browser. So your browser can be your Chrome or any other things. So what we'll do now is to head to your browser, which is Chrome. For the first time, Photopea will require data to be on for you to load the, um, the web application. From here, let's go to the browser. So I'll on my data first and then click on my browser, which is Chrome. So once Chrome opens, you will type photopea.com. Alright, from here you can decide to off your data or leave it on. So before we proceed, let's load a PSD file. PSD file is a Photoshop format of saving a project. AI format is an illustrator format of saving a project. And so is the others. Each application has their format of saving projects and files so for the purpose of this tutorial so like i said psd format is a photoshop format of saving a project so i will be making use of psd for the purpose of the tutorial so to import a psd file to import or edit a psd file you need to um load the file first from photopea so let's first load the files to load the files, you click on this file here, this file icon here, and then click on open. This open takes you to your file storage where you will import or where you will load the PSD file format. So you click on open to import their PSD format, which is a Photoshop project. So once you click on this open, it leads you straight to your file storage. So you head to your files where the downloaded PSD file is and then import it or load it. So right now I'm going to load um, the PSD file from where I saved it, which is under my download storage. So I will head to my storage and find the file. So when uploading a PSD file, make sure you are seeing dot psd in the file um some of my students usually upload a jpeg format and tell me that it is not editable you can't edit a jpeg format project you can only edit, edit a psd format or an ai format or other formats from different designing um softwares so from here i'm just going to load um one of the psd files i have here so let me no let me choose um another psd file So I'm searching for the PSD file to use now.
So I will use this 3D glass window logo markup. So when you extract um, a zip PSD file, it appears as uh, a folder. So when you click on that folder, you choose the file folder. And then inside a file folder, you will see the JPEG format and also the PSD format. So you will be importing the PSD file format. So just click on this .psd, the one that has .psd. So just click on it and wait while Photopea loads your project. So the time variation for loading a project depends on the project. For some larger files, yeah, Photopea takes um, a lot of times before loading. So to remove something like this, you just have to click on this layer here by the right and uh, you can see this uh, mockup. What is a mockup? So a mockup, um, a mockup, a PSD mockup or any kind of mockup is an already designed project just like um, you design on Pixel App and save as PLP and then you can send it to someone to edit and make any changes. So on this mockup, you can easily edit designs using a mockup and then make it look exactly like that mockup. So that's that's why when you upload a PSD file, you will see a space in the layer where it says place your logo or place your design or place your art, anything there. So once you place that stuff, it reflects the changes and effects already made on the previous designs. So, all right. So the first thing I will do now before I go into other details is to make a mockup. So to make a mockup, you click on this layer and wherever you see, so wherever you see your logo or place your logo or place your design, you double click on the square, just on the square, this in on that logo so this is what i mean when i mean square so let me pick this you double click on this this i mean this square that's where to double click so let me erase this now so now i will just double click on this so when you double click you wait as you can see the layer has changed so from here if you click on this um, layer icon again you will see the initial logo the vector logo without um, the mock-up without the designs 3d designs and effect the shadows and the rest so when I click on this layer again I can see this eye icon on the second layer so these are layers so when you click on this you can easily hide this as you can see there is no design on it so what you will do now is to click is to import your already made designs using any software the designs the transparent design you've made when i mean transparent i mean designs without background so to do that you click on files and then open and place so when you click open and place it leads you direct to your file storage where you will import or where you will load your already made designs your transparent designs so you click on open and place and then choose the files where the design is installed for this mine is stored in pixel lab so i click pixel lab and i choose a transparent design so this is a png design i made in my previous video so you wait while it loads like i said before the loading time depends on the size of um, the markup and on maybe on the RAM of your storage and that's it. So if you click on this layer again, you'll see that um, you've already um, put another um, layer in this. So what you have to do now to make um, this design reflect this markup. So if I click on this 3 glass, 3D glass, you will see the initial mockup. Sorry, not saving this. So if you click on this 3D glass, you will see the initial mockup. It is not reflecting yet because we have not converted um, the other one we placed to a smart object. So if I click back to your logo, 
um, layer, you will still see the design replaced. So from here now, you can decide to put this at the center by moving it or you just leave it this way. So from here now, if you want this now to reflect on that 3D glass wall, you click on file and then save as smart object. So we just have to wait while it converts our design to a smart object. So you have to be patient and wait. So once it loads, no matter the time, uh, the time it takes, once it loads, So once this um, stuff is updated, it has converted the design to the um, background. So to see to see it, you just have to click on this 3D glass. Just click it and wait for it to load and then show you um, the design. So now we just have to wait. So this same procedures you can as you can see it has reflected our design this same procedure you can use it on your laptop on your web browser on your pc on your phone on your iphone no matter the kind of device you are using it works and it's perfect so this is what a mock-up is reflecting your design on an already made uh, already made effects and the rest so that's for mock-up so if you want to now i'll also show, show you other things you can do you can make this also transparent by removing the background as you can see you can see the layers you can see the background you can see the effects you can see the light so you can hide any of this you can hide this when you hide this the background is off So when you hide this background, as you can see, the background is off, and you can also hide the lights. As you can see, there is no light. So you can filter this to get the perfect kind of design you want, or you can also leave it as it is right now. So there's also another thing I'm going to show you if you want to design with Photopea. So I'm going to exit this mockup now and then I move to the other step. So I'll just click on this cancel icon to remove this. Okay, before I cancel this, you can save this by clicking on files, then export as. This is actually a JPEG format, but most of my videos I usually use PNG because PNG has a higher quality um than JPEG. So you can decide to save this as a JPEG format or a PNG format depending on what you are using it for. So both are great. So once you click this now, it will bring a pop-up screen where you will save your design directly to your storage. So as you can see, you can just click on this save now. You can also alter these um, sizes and maybe any kind of size you want so you can alter this and then put um, any size so let's wait why it changes the size so as you can see the size has changed so you can just save it to the kind of background you want and then you click on save so this downloads without your data being on or off. So once once you open this, it's already saved to your device, right? So let's go back. So now let's um let's remove this. Let me show you some other things you can do with photo. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification icon so you can get updated or notified whenever I release a new video. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. So let's continue with our tutorial on your phone. So you can also click on these files now. Since we are using this file um, of a thing, and then you for well, this time you click on new, 
if you want to design with Autopea on your Android, which is possible, which I usually do most of the times, and it actually makes it more easier to do some other things depending on your client's um, needs. So you, you click on create, you can actually um, use this width and height to change your width and height to the particular kind of width you want. Or you just check around this and get that exact already um, made um, sizes of designs you want. But let me make it up. Just click on create and you will see a new layer. Here, you can actually go around this. You can put a new test using the test icon. And if you are already using Photoshop, this will be much easier for you. And let me show you other things you can also do. You can click on this view here and then you enable your layers and then your rulers is already enabled so from here you can just draw out your rulers you can draw them out to align your designs you can also disable the rulers here if you don't want the rulers you can disable it or you can enable the rulers okay another thing you can do is you can also alter the colors of layers or shapes all right let me click on this and um pick a shape so you can alter the layers and gradient this is actually a gradient so let me go back to go back or to move back from your what you did you can click on this edit and you'll see step backward or step forward it actually um on those what you have done So right here, I'll just pick um a two so you long press this and see the yeah futures so this is actually um let me pick um a rectangle so when you long press this okay let me exit this when you long press this you see the rectangle too so you click on rectangle and this automatically changes to rectangle so i can rule this from here And you can see i have my rectangle and the initial color is black you can filter the colors from here you can choose any kind of colors you want don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification icon so that's that you can reduce the fuel level and the opacity level from here so i can make this 10. as you can see it has reflected and other things you can also add effects on this by clicking this effects and um blending options and then you, you rotate this to see the full um layout so as you can see you can actually edit this you can add um texture outer glow drop shadow just like your photoshop so you can do everything on this you can make designs add shadows to designs and the rest using this and then when you don't you press on ok or you cancel this to exit without doing anything so guys this is actually the basis of um photo B tutorial on android so guys see you guys next time on my next tutorial hope this helps hello guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification icon so you can get updated or notified whenever i release a new video thank you guys thank you so much for subscribing so let's continue with our 
tutorial.